Hello guys, it's me, Janne, and in today's video I'll be testing the Ferrari Formula 1 car, the F138, and the Ferrari Formula 1 car, SF15T, and how they compare to each other, since the new red pack came on Assetto Corsa for the console, and I've been really hyped about those. So basically it's the Ferrari from 2013 versus the Ferrari from 2015 and there's been different regulations in 2013 and 2015 so it's interesting to see which formula is faster the one with more aerodynamics and maybe less engine power or the one with less aerodynamics and more engine power and a hybrid engine so let's see how the cars compare to each other. So here we are at the Red Bull Ring in Austria and I'm in the F138. The 2013 Formula 1 car by Ferrari and let's take it for a spin around the track. First thing that we can hear is that the engine sounds amazing. Just listen to it. Sounds way better than the V6 hybrid engines from the new regulations from 2014 onwards. And the car is, well, it accelerates quite quickly and it's really stable under acceleration and under braking. And I think that is because there's so much aerodynamics and so much downforce in this car that it just presses the car down so much that it's impossible almost to lose it on accelerations at least if you are experienced enough to drive it and I feel that this is really really predictable car and it's easy to take it to the limit at least from what I've driven it that's the impression that I got out of it and yeah that's pretty much it from the car easy to handle and you know where the limits are and easy through the corners and so on and there's nothing else so-called extra on the car other than DRS which is the drag reduction system where you can open the rear wing and then there's curse the energy recovery system that gives you extra boost for like six seconds I guess and that's it so this is really a simple car to drive and I, I like it quite a lot I think it's easier to drive of the two and here we are in the SF 15 T with the really cool looking lollipop guy telling me that I can go well then let's go the first thing that we notice from the car compared to the F138 is that this one has a huge screen on the steering wheel where you can see all the differences in the battery charging and all that kind of shit for example when I've pressed it I don't know if it's curse button or earth button or what what the hell it is but you can see that the green bar on the steering wheel gets emptier as you can see here look it gets empty so I'm using the charge of the battery but yet compared to the F138 this is a really more difficult oops car to drive since for example there's a lot less aerodynamics meaning that the car is harder to control in the corners and this has more power so it's basically trying to escape your or escape from you and from your control continuously and to make it even harder the regulations allow hybrid engines meaning that you can set, select from different engine modes for example the balanced low which gives quite a low peak performance compared to the balanced high and overtake which is almost the uh, fastest of the engine mode and so on here we have top speed and hot lap basically just different 
engine modes that allow you to go faster or slower and to recover more or less energy to the battery of the car and apart from that there is also option to select how much energy you recover from your braking and here we have for example 10 percent and 20 30 40 and the higher the percentage is the longer your braking distances will be but the higher the percentage is the faster the battery will charge so for example i have let's put let's put 100 percent there and then when we get over here let's break on the worth sign you can see that the green bar filled quite a lot and now let's put it to zero and you can see that nothing happens when I brake seriously let's see let's take a good speed and break from the speed weak see nothing happens even though I was going fast and then I slowed down so yeah it affects the braking distance so it's a really hard car to drive so because the car can have different power levels throughout the race and different braking distances that vary even more than the general tire wear and fuel consumption thing that is quite normal and you might have heard that the car is quite low pitched in the engine noise compartment but it's because there's this rule that allows only 100 kilograms per hour of fuel to be used so there's no need to go over i think 11,000 11, or 12,000 revs but actually this car can go i think up to 14,000 or something and that starts to sound quite nice but there's no torque anymore since this car has been designed to work on the lower revs so it won't use that much of fuel but listen to this now i'm going to the higher revs and sounds pretty good actually and you can drive it that way but i don't think it will be the fastest but sounds a lot better than people think that these cars can sound but yeah this is a really really difficult car to drive and now i'll be showing you hot lap videos from the f138 and this sf15t and i did but what i did was put five liters of fuel on each car and the super soft tires so it would be as equal as possible for the laps and i did five hot laps on each car and i took the fastest result of each car so i think we could start with the hot laps first with the f138 and here we are on board with the F138 on the start finish track and we need to start breaking for the first corner at 100 meters right there and go cleanly towards the apex and exit the corner with a slight bit of oversteer and now we are on the first straight that is not straight at all towards second corner and another heavy braking like this and then we are going through another straight but not straight i think these straights have some kind of scoliosis but on the end of here we have another heavy braking and a sweeping right hander that goes downhill so it's easy to lock up the tires here and now accelerating through the gears towards the two only left handers on this whole circuit these are quite fast sweeping left handers that are taken with quite a lot of speed and now grinding through the gears again and braking at the 50 meter board and flicking the car 
to the corner and here is the last corner and there is a hot lap around Red Bull Ring with the F138. And here we are on board with the SF15T accelerating towards the first corner which is still a heavy braking zone even though we changed the car and quite cleanly out of the turn one we have to feather the throttle a bit because of more power and now we are on the first scoliosis straight towards turn two which is another right hander after heavy braking and this is a really slow right hander and here is where Kimi's race ended in the 2015 race on the scoliosis straight number two and now we are braking heavily again through the downhill going right hander which is amongst the slowest on this track and now through the only left handers in Austria didn't quite nail the apex there that doesn't matter that much I got a good speed around the corner and now the straight and the last two corners flicking the car in in the first corner not as aggressively with the F138 but still going fast as hell and now going through the start and finish straight and that's the hot lap which one do you think was faster we'll be finding out really really soon and it is the SF15T it was quicker by less than two tenths of a second here are the lap times I've been on hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll see you monday with another maximum attack monday thank you and bye bye